Hey guys, bunch of big news lately. I haven't had a chance to report on it till now because I was out of state. But um, I guess the big news is somehow just, you guys have reached the uh, the Patreon goal where uh, it was listed that I would start work on a movie. And I was just, I, I was blown away by this. <laughs> it was like, you guys are the best fans in the world. Oh my God. Ah, it was just astonishing. Oh my God. And <laughs> thank you so much. I just, oh my, wow. I can't even begin to, well, I can begin to uh, repay you and thank you properly, but wow, I don't know if I can ever finish it. But uh, that's part of what I wanted to talk to you about was uh, the plan, uh, the current status of things that the plan is, um, and how I'm going to go about it. So, uh, I, I guess we'll start with the movie in question, and, uh, what this means and does not mean. So, uh, the movie. Yes, you guys reached the, uh, the, the amazing, I thought, I thought unreachable goal of a movie. Not that I put it intentionally out of reach. I didn't. Um, but I still, I still can't believe it. That's amazing. Um, but, uh, what this means is that I said, I, I believe in there, I said I would put a movie into pre-production and that I would, uh, make it a priority. This is all true. Uh, I am now making it a priority and, uh, pre-production, however, means a lot of things. Um, one, it means it may take a long time. In this case, a very long time. Uh, two, um... This movie has not been written yet, obviously. Um, and I also haven't decided what the movie will be about. I have three or four ideas that I'm kicking around. Uh, that, very, very good ideas. But um, here's the interesting thing. None of them are what you would call uh, uh, spoony movies. And I think even even April was asking me, like, oh, people are going to love seeing a, seeing a spoony movie. And I go, well, like what? Kind of like the the AVGN movie where it's a movie where like Spoonie goes out and does things, and I'm like, well, or or like an origin story, and she's like, yeah, like an origin story. And I'm like, well, you kind of know what the origin story is. It's it's basically me, you know. Um, like the character is kind of an amp, amped up version of me, so to speak, and it, it's. But then we also have like you know the meta plot of the reviews and stuff like that is it true? We, you know, we kind of have this weird meta plot thing going on. Um, so it might be worth exploring. I don't know yet. Um, I, I didn't really envision like a, a in character spoony movie when I was thinking of, of a movie. And, um, hopefully that wasn't misleading. Maybe it was, and I'm not ruling it out. Uh, I always pictured, maybe doing a movie separate from the site. Uh, maybe that was out of line. Um, I don't, I don't think so though. I think, I think maybe you guys would enjoy seeing, uh, something that was something, you know, something that I wrote and produced and maybe appeared in that would, that would be something, you know, very, very, very different from the standard kind of game movie review, kind of my character, type of thing. Um, I, I don't think I necessarily need to be kind of, I'm not imitating the nerd, but, you know, kind of make a movie where it's, where it's my character. Uh, especially since we're talking about, like, where in continuity this falls. I, yeah, I don't know. It, it, but it's one of the ideas that I might start kicking around. Um, I have a bunch of really, really fun ideas that I like. So once I kind of, um, once I kind of settle in on those, uh, I really, I, I am making it a priority to start scripting that out. And get moving on it. Uh, when will you see results? That's the tricky thing. I don't know. As in, um, once I kind of get an idea of uh, what kind of movie I want to do, I have to get uh, an idea of what my limits on budget are. Um, that's not begging for money. What that means is uh, you have to write within your means. You know what I mean? So, like, I can't write... I can't write a super sci-fi space epic. Um, you know, I can't write a movie worth, you know, billions of dollars. I can't write something really, really extravagant with a lot of, you know, hyper martial arts and stuff like that. With, you know, with stuntmen and all this stuff, the stuff I can't, I can't procure. So I, I have to write something within my means 
within the contacts of people I know, you know, that's what I mean. So it's it's kind of writing writing something that that I can do that I feel comfortable with, and and kind of working from there. Um, then then it's kind of getting everything in line. So you have all these you have pre production involves a lot of things. So it's getting all that stuff lined up, and eventually, when I feel ready, is eventually you know kind of getting into production. I have no idea when that'll be, but. As I said, and I promised, and I will do this, I am going to get things moving on scripting, at the very least. So, yeah, wow, it's, that's very daunting, the size and scope of that project. But um, I do want to get started on it because it's one of those projects where if you don't get started on it, it will never get finished. So, um, that kind of leads into all the other parts of the, uh, of the Patreon that have been built up so far, and the various problems that have that have led to this moment, and that that have I have had uh, in producing the show, and the solutions that I've come up with, because honestly, I've kind of embarrassed myself. I think uh, to a certain degree in kind of following through with a lot of the stuff I've I kind of put forward here. Um, I remember even when I when I moved here uh, to Aurora. I was like, oh, this is going to be so great. I'm going to free myself up so much time to kind of do other things other than reviews. I'm going to be able to do, like, you know, movie vlogs, be able to do so many more counter monkeys and stuff like that. And you know what? It's like I've been, I've been, my production really hasn't really changed all that much because I've been so fixated on doing reviews. Um, it's, it's kind of like one of those things where I really want to get reviews out as fast as possible. And so when it comes to doing kind of extraneous activities or what I consider to be extraneous activities, I always kind of put that up against the reviews. You know, would I rather go see a movie on Friday night or would I rather kind of stay inside and keep editing that video? And the editing the review would always kind of come first. And so unfortunately, when it came to even, even the Patreon stuff, editing the video always seemed to come first. And I realized, I, I, even, I even seemed to realize like even before you guys came close to reaching the, the DVD goal. That, that was completely wrong to do that. And I was like, guys, without, without me, you know, talking to me, me, without the Patreon thing, I completely nothing. So, um, I had, I had decided, uh, in terms of even the DVD, which I'm going to talk about in a minute to, I, I had to really start scheduling my time a lot better, like a lot better. So I'm going to tell you that in a minute. Um, now that I've been reminded of it, the DVD, that's another thing. Something uh, I I actually have started moving forward on. Um, uh, I I actually have got it started moving on the review itself. The DVD itself is going to take the form of um, a review of a particular movie, and there's also going to be uh, riffs of at least two short films. And I'm going to see if I can put some additional content on there. So it's going to be at least um, one review, two riffs, and I'm going to see if I can do some other things. Um, kind of little sketches and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to see... Th that doesn't seem like much to me at the moment, so I want to do some other things as well. Because I wanted this... I want this DVD to be really special. So I may actually see if I can put maybe even two reviews on it. Um, I can't guarantee any content on it yet, but... Um, yeah, there's definitely going to be uh, at least one review, at least two riffs on it. Um, the, the tricky part was, and I lost so much time, uh, on this DVD was I had the perfect movie in mind for this DVD. It was so perfect. And I thought it was public domain and I was researching and researching to make sure. And it wasn't, uh, I, I had everything pretty much lined up to, uh, I was scripting for this thing and no. Uh, I was even looking on IMDb because, like, I was looking at the production companies. None of these production companies even existed anymore. You couldn't even find like record of them online. Like, the, 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 just they were vapor. But eventually, I found some of the. Eventually, I found some of the people behind it, and yeah, whatever. The difference is, you may be asking, uh, well, it's fair use. You can review it. It's fair use. There is a line when it comes to um, reviewing things. Uh, it, it may be it may be kind of uh, 
ephemeral or maybe kind of shady to you one way or the other. But the difference is kind of like on YouTube or on online media, if I'm reviewing something and I use clips from a movie or a game or something like that, you can argue fair use in the sense that I'm not actively making I'm not actively making a profit off somebody's work. I'm kind of critiquing it, spoofing it, whatever. When you actually put on a physical media and I'm actively making money off of it, that is a different story. So I wanted to I wanted to be really sure before I put something on DVD that I was pretty safe. So yeah, um, I had this perfect movie picked out for the DVD, and it was such, it was really depressing when I found out that I couldn't get this movie. And I, I emailed uh, I emailed the director, uh, basically seeing if I could secure licensing rights, you know, distribution rights or something like that for a review, you know, like... If, and in fact, if I could get, if I could have gotten distribution rights for this movie, I would have done like a full-on commentary for it. Um, in fact, that was another thing I was gonna hopefully do for whatever, uh, for, for sorry, whatever for the movie I've chosen for the, uh, for the uh, for the DVD. Now I might actually decide decide to do a a full-on riff tracks for the entire movie as well as a review, um, which would be kind of fun. I'd, I'm wondering if that's worth it doing like three whole riff tracks. It's probably riff overload, but. Uh, We'll see. It might be kind of cool. Uh, having the whole movie on there plus, yeah, might be interesting. See, the, uh, these are the ideas I'm kicking around. But uh, yeah, I, I emailed the director twice and have gotten no response. So the lack of response is probably a no. Uh, it's also one of those things where like, could I probably get away with it if I just went ahead and did it? Yeah, but in my case, as soon as I did it, no. You'd see it and be like, oh my god, sue this guy. So, not going to do it, but would have been perfect. I lost a lot of time worrying about that one. God, um, you wonder why I was so bummed about it. It's because uh, I really wanted the DVD to be something special. Um, that I wanted to pick a movie that was really, really unlike like anyone else's DVD might have been. You know, I think like I think like most people would just kind of settle for. I'm gonna dig a hole here, but most people would just kind of like, yeah, it's a public domain movie. You know, I didn't want to pick a public domain movie like, like just just a generic B movie, just a generic sci-fi movie. I wanted to do something that was like awesome, and this one was it was just perfect. And I'm staying really evasive on what movie it is. And that's for a reason. It's because you are gonna see this movie. It's going to be for the site, but, oh my god, this would have been great for the DVD. Fuck! <sighs> see, the, see the things I'm dealing with here. Now, release that on the DVD? I don't know. I don't know. Um, really, it's, as, it, it's pretty much as soon as I get the review finished. It's kind of one of those things where that one is also on the back burner, but it's like, now this is where I start talking about what I'm doing to the schedule. As with the other rewards, uh, unfortunately, almost all of them have fallen onto the back burner, where they should not be. And, like I said, I've kind of embarrassed myself in realizing where all those rewards have gone to. You know, the DVD, the audio greetings, and the commentaries. That's what I feel worst about, are the, the commentaries of which I am months behind on. Of which I feel I feel absolutely wretched about that. So, what I had to do was as soon as I as soon as I saw the the movie goal had been met, I was like, okay, we have to stop. We have to stop everything, or I have to stop. I have to stop everything, and like um, I I have to figure out I have to figure out a method to get all this done. You know, I I have to I have to figure out something some way because right now. Right now, I am beyond stressed out. You know, I'm 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 burning myself out. I'm working myself like crazy, and yet it seems like it seems like things are so slow. It seems like you know, it, it seems like things are so slow. It seems like I should be getting way more footage out than than I am, and you guys are so absurdly generous, and I need to earn it. And so, like, what is wrong? What is so wrong? It's time management, and. I could keep fooling myself and telling me that I'm working really hard and there's nowhere, there's, you know, there's, I'm not doing anything wrong. 
there's things, a lot of things I could change, a lot of things I need to change, and a lot of things I will change. Okay, so first thing that's going to happen is basically a full day out of the week is I'm, I'm basically scheduling what I'm going to do each day. I've got a calendar app that I'm doing there, and I'm going to like dedicate, write down especially like what I'm going to do each day. One of those days, same day every week, is going to be the Patreon day. Um, and it's not like out of obligation, but it's that, you know, like seriously, I, I've done a few of the commentaries. I love doing the fucking commentaries seriously, but it's one of those things where like, it's one of those things where like, you know, review or commentary, I got to get reviews out. You know, it's like the review always wins. No, I need to do a thing where like on this day we do Patreon stuff and I love doing the Patreon stuff. It's just that this day has to be the separate thing. So like. It's going to be the Patreon day where April and I sit down, we watch a Patreon movie, I do some audio greetings, you know, uh, and then I start working on the movie and the DVD. So I got to budget my time out for that. Because without that, without that, I lose you guys. And without you guys, there's nothing else. So I have to make that, uh, that has to be the priority. Because without that, there's no show, you know. So it, it really took that for me to realize that. So, you know, a day out of the week, that's it. Um, so that was that was a big thing. Another thing I'm putting in there is a day of rest. It is as alien concept to me as it has ever been. I don't think I've ever done... Uh, I, I, I usually work every day, pretty much all day. Uh, I, I have seriously not really had a vacation. <laughs> Except, like, honestly, conventions are my vacations. Which is awesome. I've been to a lot of conventions, which is great. But like, I really don't take any days off, um, aside from, yeah, you know, I, I, I sometimes play some games and stuff like that. But even then, like, I have not played any new games. It's it's really remarkable. It bums me out. Like, um, the the new Alien Isolation game. Uh, I can't even remember what the. Fuck, um, name a new game. I haven't played it. You know, uh, fuck, um, Shadows of Mortar, Shadows Over Mortar. Haven't played it. Well, I love, I would love to play that. Um, I just got through beating Assassin's Creed Three. That's how far back I am. You know, uh, so yeah, crazy stuff, man. I would love to take a day and just rest. And I think I need that just a day to recharge the batteries. I think it would really keep me fresh. So beyond that, uh, the beyond that, I, I. I had to um, just kind of look at where I'm losing time. Like a no bullshit self analysis. Where am I losing time? What do I have to change? The first thing, and the biggest thing that's probably going to change that you may notice, is uh, social media, Twitter. From now on, you are essentially going to notice uh, my complete. Uh, my Twitter account is you know basically going to be completely abandoned. Aside from news updates, uh, you know, news updates, site updates, uh, various, you know, site corrections and stuff like that, I'm pretty much done from Twitter. You know, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Nah, eh, I'm kind of done with it. Got to shut it down. Done. Losing a lot of time there. Um, besides arguing with people on Twitter is not doing me any good. Done. Over. Whatever. Um, editing. What's a bummer is, another thing that's a bummer is, uh, I love editing. Um, but it takes me way too long. And, uh, I realized I was looking through my, uh, the Z drive. I was looking through the Z drive where all my video shit is. I have tons of video recorded in terms of like gameplay, uh, like vlog footage, not a lot of vlog, but you know, vlog footage. Um, the, the gameplay of the, the horror game that April and I played, lots of stuff recorded, lots of stuff queued up that I have not edited, um, that would be really easy to edit, but it takes a lot of time, you know, just because it's easy, still takes time to look through and, you know, cut, edit, render. It takes processing time, takes time to upload that kind of stuff. Again, it's one of those things where it's like, it comes down to, eh, I spend a couple hours kind of, you know, slamming out these easy kind of vlogs or review. So review always wins, but I'm not getting anything on the, on the website. My priorities are all screwed up. So there's a few things I can do and I will do. Uh, one is 
I'm going to, I seriously have to start doing, you know, and again, I love doing counter monkeys. So another day I'm going to do kind of dedicate to doing the, uh, wrestling and the counter monkeys because people love doing the watching the wrestling thing and people love, I love doing the counter monkeys and yet counter monkey falls by the wayside. So, you know, day number three out of the week, counter monkey and wrestling day, probably going to be Sunday, you know, Sunday, if there's a pay-per-view going to be wrestling. Um, uh, if there's not counter monkey day, sit down, bang out a couple counter monkeys. I'm going to bang my monkeys. Um, that should be plenty of fun. Heck, that's probably like a day off for me talking about talking about wrestling and or RPGs. What could be easier than that? So as long as I make that a day and I like, I, I wake up and be like, this is what the day is, you know, that's good enough. As long as I know, like seriously having a plan, fine. You know, so that's great. Um, like wh whenever I, I, I make it sound like it's an obligation sometimes, but it's not, it's like, um, just my default mode has always been just, mm, let's work on reviews every day. And that shouldn't be the way it is. As long as I just have a plan, when I wake up, I was look up, wake up, look at a calendar be like, today is counter monkey day. I can go ahead and do that. But I've been so fixated for years on the website. Having a second priority like the counter monkey stuff has always been so alien to me. So just having to reschedule things. Lastly, I've been saying this for years, and this ties into all the video that I've had recorded, is an editor. I have lost... I, uh, this is part of what's been holding me back for a long time, is finding an editor, a video editor. Um... I know a lot of other critics and a lot of other producers who have just gone out and hired a professional editor or even not, if not a professional, like a college editor or something like that. Somebody who has experience or needs experience, but who is knowledgeable about this sort of thing. And what that would help with is the fact that, you know, I have all of this footage that I have recorded or can record, but I choose not to because I have other priorities or, you know, whatever, like, so part of the reason that I I just maybe don't do Let's Plays or I don't do movie vlogs is because I kind of just look at it and go, well, now I have to edit this stuff, you know, and I could be doing reviews. It's the kind of mindset I've got going on. It's not out of laziness. It's, I'm working this whole time, you know, um, but my mindset is, well... I take time out of, you know, working on the reviews to go see the movie, then I have to record the vlog, and then I have to do the editing. So, you know, I, I always see this as time is taken away from the reviews. So, um, I think that fear of having to edit things, taking the extra time to go edit the stuff, you know, is, is really part of what's holding, you know, part of what's holding me uh, back in terms of getting extra content on the site. I really want to get stuff put on the site. And I've got all this footage that I have and all this footage that I could shoot, but I don't because I don't want to edit it, you know, um, and that I could just hand off to an editor and it would be so convenient. Um, like I said, I know so many producers who do this and I'm just going to, like I said, I keep, I keep saying for years I'm going to do this. This is going to begin in earnest now because I am tired of just looking at something and being like, ah. <sighs> I could review that, but God damn it. That's like an hour of footage I'll have to edit. You know, you know, just when, I, when I've got, I've, I've like, I've got that nightmare review to edit. Oh man. I can't, I, you know, it's, it's just, I look at that and I go, that's another video on the pile. Yeah. It's, it's not out of laziness. It's just the fact that I'm working on something right now. You know, it's, and that's not a good way to think about it, but that's the way it is. So what I'm trying to do is trying to structure things so that my time is best spent on priorities. So like, um, April has said like, well, you're, you're kind of a control freak when it comes to the editing, meaning when, you know, the, the real reviews, you know, the board game reviews, the game reviews and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm probably not too comfortable turning editing over to somebody else for that because I'm kind of a perfectionist on that, but for vlogs and stuff like that, you know, the stuff that it doesn't, it's easy but it still needs someone to look through it, clean it up, edit it nicely. If there's something that kind of needs to come out, you know, to, to, to pare it down, make it nice. 
an editor would help a lot with that. That's the kind of work that needs to be done. I don't mind turning that over. You know, I've got a lot of footage from the Cards Against Humanity game. That's a lot of footage, and I, I've been meaning that's I've been meaning to put it up, but it's like each one of those is like four hours of footage that I would have to go through to make sure it's. I just want to make it watchable. I want to make it fun and interesting and watchable to go through. I just don't want to slap the raw footage up there and expect you guys to watch it. I want to make it good and entertaining. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I've got a bunch of, uh, you know, I've got a bunch of changes that I want to make and I will make. So, uh, hopefully I will be able to structure my time a lot better. Uh, and hopefully, uh, hopefully the Patreon day, especially you guys will begin to quickly see a turnaround in, you know, to see some, uh, uh, to see the you know the 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 fruits of your the, the fruits of your labors your donations and stuff like that because I really want you guys to feel like uh, feel rewarded for your support because uh, I want to feel like I've earned your support and I want you guys to feel like you know uh, that that I deserve it um, because so far I kind of feel like I haven't um, so I'm gonna try my best and hopefully by hopefully by structuring my time. I'll be able to do that. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to start work on this movie. Um, first thing I need to do though, is I want to get this DVD out. So I'm kind of trying to do this in order. Uh, hopefully that won't take too long. So, um, hopefully I didn't bore you by describing exactly how my work schedule is going to go on, but I felt you guys needed to know how things are going to change around here. Uh, the show is not going to change, at least not that I'm familiar with. Um, I should have a review up by Halloween. I always say that, and I'm usually late, but no, um, I'm going to try. Been working really hard on this, so uh, once again, I'm, oh my God, thank you so much for uh, helping me reach this astonishing landmark. Uh, I am I am eternally blessed. You guys are the most fantastic fans in the world. I every time I every time I just look at the screen, I'm blown away by it, and stressed out. But that's a good kind of stress. Uh, it's the kind of stress that makes me reevaluate things, and uh, hopefully, that kind of stress will help me dramatically improve the show. So. Yeah, about that's all I've got. Um, hopefully you guys will have helped improve the show in more ways than just budget. You know, uh, hopefully you've seen uh, some improvements uh, that the budget has helped out in terms of like cinematography, editing, uh, set design, things like that. But I want you guys to see some improvement in terms of you know turnaround time, and that's I think is far more important in in some ways than simple you know technology you know, camera, set, and stuff like that. I want you guys to see more. Not necessarily not necessarily just better quality. I want you guys to see more, because you guys deserve it. So, um, thank you once again. Uh, I will not take up any more of your time with this, but thank you again. Um, I hope to have some more, uh, another, uh, I hope to have a counter monkey uh, out sometime very soon, because, again, making that a priority. Um, Patreon Day which is uh, scheduled for this week, is coming up very soon. So, uh, hopefully, not hopefully, there will be Patreon rewards rolling out very soon. So, that is a vow, and it is a vow I will keep. So, thank you again, and good night. <laughs>